So what do you think is my best feature on me to you? No, what do you think your own best feature is to me? Um, probably that booty. <laughs> my eyes and my face, my personality. No, I love everything about you. And my bad me. muscles. In the morning. Bum, bum, bum. I'm doing a little bit of packing right now. Which feels weird because I have no idea when I'm going to be leaving. But let's hope it's sooner than later. I'm so like indigestion today. So I freaking hate it. But oh well, that's my life. What am I looking for? Here's a box. Oh, I could definitely use this box. It's a big box. Um, I was looking for a newspaper. Which I just spot it in the corner. I don't feel absolutely terrible right now. Which makes me want to do stuff. Like, wrap up the longing so I don't have to worry about them later. Yes, yes, and yes. I have so much I have to do, honestly, before, like, probably end of summer is when I would like to move. I think. Um, honestly it's like when I have the money and when I see something that like is really good that I could just jump on kind of sort of somewhere isn't this pretty little crystal shoe it's gonna be crazy for that for a while put that there for now oh there's a blanket let's show this blanket in the box Look at this one. This one's a clear, or clear, I'm sorry. Cobalt blue one. Shove them in. I have this really old jewelry box that was my grandmother's, and I keep, keeps like mementos in here, like my baby teeth. Maybe we'll do a video of me going for this one day. Keepsakes, um, my boyfriend's obituary. Is that weird? Actually, no, I don't. I have his obituary in my mirror. I think I have a second obituary maybe in there. I don't know. I used to have so bitch right though in there. Anyways. Keepsakes. Oh, my boyfriend's obituary. So weird. Actually, no, I don't. I have his obituary in my mirror. I think I have a second. Something that's wrapped. Oh, this little pumpkin head thing. I put that wrap. I have so many cool little things when I have my place. It's going to look so awesome when it's all set up. Absolutely. Like, ecstatically cannot wait. This uh, picture frame, I have one that has a picture of me and my boyfriend in it. And then that one's also gonna have a picture of me and my boyfriend in it. This is like a very glassy box. I'm gonna have to write on it like a glass B. Like... This is like a very glassy box. I'm gonna have to write on it like a glass B. Like... Extra effing careful. I'm like wrapping stuff like that really well and then other stuff is kind of just throwing together, you know? That and it's going there. It's huge. Look at this. Carry silver. It's such an average day, but the days go by and I just get more anxious to like get pumped up to move. Honestly. That is where I am at. This is cute. I got that at the witchy store a long time ago. Oh, this is the big one. So all of this is done. I can put more on the top of this box then. That's really heavy though. Um, this box. So this is what we have to wrap. And be really careful with it. Isn't that neat? Got that the first. My best friend was actually with me when I got that, and she tried to talk me out of it. No, could do it. I was like, you know, this one in my house. We have to really drop that one. Long enough, you know, that we gotta find our own thing. And we're trying to figure out if we want to just stay in our area or what we want to do with that. This box is not gonna close because of this thing's hand. This box won't close because this thing's so big and like fit right. 
And I'll write in it, glass. It won't close. So I know what I'm doing later on with my findings. <sighs> like my perfumes, my lotions and crap like that, I'm just like... Just throw them all in a box. I do have my whole kitty purse and I just made a bunch of clean clothes fall because I went to grab it. That's awesome. <laughs> I was gonna pack this, but it's like, what if I need it for something fun in the summer? See, that's what I mean. Packing's hard when you're not like moving right away. Uh, hands are on the wheel. It's over in the, it's just a glove compartment. Driver's side, passenger side door. But anyways, I just wanted to say quick that, um, shit. <laughs> when I post, I just wanted to say something like, when I post a health update or something, like one of my diseases or something, like, it gets me a little annoyed. Like, I don't care if people come sit down, maybe they don't like the context or how I explained it, but it just makes me a little annoyed because it's like, or when you guys say like nasty ass shit, I don't know. Like half of it doesn't bother me because I know it's haters, but half of it is like general real people being like, so you have this now? And it's like, no, I've always had it. I feel like when you do get, um, a chronic illness or like a, an autoimmune disease I've always had a feeling in the back of my head and I would say something like to even my doctors that like I thought I was going to get something like this in the future but I didn't obviously know for sure anything started my hair my face is so broken out and I feel disgusting anyways um I always thought maybe I'd get something like that but I wasn't sure and just having I did a video the other day on the main show my psycho mago virus I never spoke about really I might have, like, really touched base on it, but I don't even think I've ever, like, really talked about my health as a child either, and I think we might talk about that in a video, because it wasn't good. It, I, my health as a child was terrible. That's why I mentioned in videos that, like, I grew up a lot in hospitals and stuff, and I was excited when I got older that I was going to get away from all that stuff, and it wasn't going to be like that anymore, and guess what? It is! So, I don't know. I, before this, just had, like, a really bad upbringing um, of, like, medical history. And to be honest, I think a lot of my issues were, too, that I was a very, 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 very young child on too many medications. Like, a lot of crap at one time. Some of it I needed, some of it I didn't. I think I even made a video talking about how, like, they would give me medicine to clear one thing, and I'd get, like, a yeast infection. I kid you not. Then they give me medicine to get the yeast infection away, and then i get sick again. And, like, it would go away, but it would go away for long. Like, the one time I had it for, like, over a year. Why is it so crusty? My phone just slipped out. Like, freaking one zit. It just looks, like, angry. <laughs> also, yeah, I'm recording right now, but, like, I'm in my driveway. I'm home, so I'm allowed to be aware alone when I record. This is private freaking property. And so obnoxious. Whatever. Uh, I really, really, really need to use the toilet, and I really need to get my hair not looking like I'm old man. Look at my asshole face progress. Nothing. Well, that's kind of trying to heal. This is like a scar. This is nasty, but that's actually really easy to cover. Anyways, um, sorry, my face is so zoomed up in this fucking camera and looking nasty. But I had to say something really quick. That's my tub running. I've seen, if you go on the Facebook page for, like, Dolls Kill, Delia's, anything, all parents are doing is hating it. And no offense, but it's not for parents. This company is not for, okay, it's for parents or adults. It's not for children. It's not for your children. So stop making the world feel like we have to tear, like, tailor. Sorry, I can't talk. I feel like ever since I've been on my bladder pill for so long, my mouth gets so dry and disgusting. Anyways. We shouldn't have to tailor to your children. Watch what your kids are buying and what they're not buying. Not everything on the website is scandalous and for adults, no. But if you're going to act like that way, then it's like, then don't have your kids go on the website at all or shop. Sorry, like... And then somebody's like, what adult wears stuff like that? Um, me, any fucking adult, anybody who wants to wear that, like... I think it's more or less that you're a lazy parent and you don't want to tailor what your kids are doing online, but you're going to come down on a company. I show this a lot, but on my vlog channel, I'll be like, oh, I sold blah, blah, blah. Let's go through the bins and look, and I always show this. I don't feel like I show this too, too often on my main channel. This is a lot of the stuff I'm selling. I keep it in bins kind of according to what it is. 
Today we are looking for a Nickelodeon Rugrats Allegra doll. Why did that just come out of my mouth? And Angelica doll. And we're just going through everything that's right in front of me right now. Sticking it back into as we go to make it easier on us. This item sold from my eBay, as you saw, which is awesome. Okay, well, I think we're gonna have to go onto the other side of the room because I don't see her here. No flash needed. No flash needed over here. It's plenty bright. I was looking for a shirt before in here, which I already found. So let's just bring that up. Maybe in here. Up, oh, we found her. Next up, after I find my product, I look in the packaging. Sometimes I'll make paper holders, but today I'm gonna use this bag to put her in and then wrap it up in paper and tape. Don't you have a favorite that you keep? Yeah, I have a... These little shits, they're massive birds always sit there and they wait for my dogs to come out. They're evil and we're gonna get them. They're circling. Leave, stupid bird! Because they want to take me up with them. 